now connected to the Gamer Down. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Gamer Down. This is your host, Dark Hostess, and today we're looking at Crisis 2. And I'm stoked, really. I am a big fan of all the Crisis games. They've all been pretty damn awesome. You know, the the attention to details are just uh, amazing. You know, I mean, like the vehicles and just, uh, you know, the way they react with the physics. So I admit that the first half of this video is the intro, and I want you to watch it. And I'll see you on the other side of this intro. Francisco in the finals or possibly LA. You heard it here first, folks. We'll call Gary on it at the end of the season. <laughs> that's all the sport. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for the workout. Thanks, guys. And that's not all we're following. Here's Dan at the help desk. Three more employees at their Times Square headquarters have been diagnosed with snow. Have denied reports of a biochemical leak at their Midtown research unit. Parent company Hargreave Rash were unavailable for call. So far, there are 127 laboratory confirmed cases, but due to the speed of infection, all transport routes have now been severed as cell attack. Gasoline threatens to break the dreaded 200 We need to reinstall trust in our law enforcement agencies. Life is on the Swordfish 3, please confirm your status. This is Swordfish 3, holding station at Point South 1, periscope down. Roger that, confirming Point South 1. Uh, Swordfish 3, can you describe any, uh, visible activity at your location? Negative, Command. No visible activity. This place is like a tomb. Suck it up, Marine. There's no bad guys up there, false. Keep telling you, this is strictly humanitarian crisis. Ebola or some such shit. Tell him, Alcatraz. Alcatraz, you talking much this morning. Contrary to popular belief, people, tequila is not good for your health. Right out? Just nod your head. We'll know you're alive. There you go. Anyway. It's bullshit. You don't call Force Recon for an EMAT evac. There are bad guys up there. I swear. I can feel get it. Get the hell off. Listen up, Marines. Time to go get this Dr. Gould. Get your asses forward. Get scuba gear on. Ten minutes. Weapons prep. I told you. You don't take out the Ebola virus with an M16. Yeah, just don't shoot this Gould, okay? Man, I heard it was an alien invasion. <laughs> yeah, right. Illegal aliens. What the fuck was that? Get out, people! Back up! Abandon ship! Repeat! Abandon And now for the first time, you actually get control of your character. And this is sort of the built-in tutorial that um, most games are going with these days. And it's the best way to do it to just put the tutorial right back into the game. You know, as you experience the game. So, it tells you how to crouch. It tells you how to shoot. It tells you how to use your melee. It tells you how to interact. That's what the very first part of it, of the most modern games do. You know, they finally have got it. And they, they finally have uh, decided to just put the tutorials right into the beginning of games now. And this very first part is sort of a tutorial slash cutscene because there's lots of dialogue and I hate to really talk over the dialogue but as you can see this is part of the tutorial 
teaching you how to swim. You know, isn't that like you know the coolest? You know, I mean, instead of just like you know press up to swim, you know, and just like being robotic like that, they have it part of the story, and they you know teach you all the basics before you actually start playing. And I have to say that I've played this game about an hour now, and oh god, it's it's effing awesome. I'm loving this game. I mean, the the attention to details is just amazing. It's so realistic. That's one thing that Crytek does so very well. I'm surprised more games don't use the Crysis engine, you know. It's it's such an awesome engine. It performs so well on my computer. My, my computer is about uh, a couple of years old. It was very modern in, uh, two years ago. And I've put a few upgrades. I've got a brand new card, on, video card on it. So. But, you know, uh, the performance has been outstanding. Just completely outstanding. Like 60 FPS. You know, full, full time. Hey! What the hell? They do a very good job of getting you into this elaborate story. I mean, it, this intro seems very, very lengthy, but look how much you've learned. You've learned that New York is infected with this virus that is, seems to be taking over the entire city. And you're in a submarine on the Hudson River, and it exploded. And now you finally get to meet your future, your future self. What you're going to be doing in the future, at least in that suit. Where's my support? Where's the sub? Fucking sub took you all out. That can't be. Gold's counting on us. Alcatraz? That's your name? Alcatraz. Destiny's a bitch, huh? It'll be on you now, son. And like I said, I am just completely loving this game so far. I've played for about one hour now, and I've got past this very first part, you know, which was uh, a lot of intro, which you're seeing, you know, for yourself, actually. And, uh, yeah, this game is kick-ass, and it was worth every penny of it. If you haven't bought it yet, you need to go and get yourself a copy of it. It's that good. Now this is still part of the intro here. This isn't me controlling this, but you can uh, accomplish, a lot, you know, the same movements. You know, as you get used to the controls, they're very easy to learn controls. And the controls, I picked them up immediately. And when I can do that with a game, then I'm usually gonna love it. You know, with some exceptions, of course. But you know, so far so good. This game's been just oh, just completely awesome. You know, all like I said, all the other like Far Cry games, Crisis Engine games. I was always a huge fan of those. They're always just so so amazing. You know, they went the extra mile with all of the details, and it seems like they've done it again with this game. And 
oh, I just can't wait to play more. I can't wait to get done with this video review so I can go play some more. I'm not even kidding. As in Crisis 1, you are using this nano suit. Which you can select the different you know, enhancements for your suit, from super speed to super strength to invisibility. So, you, you, if you play Crisis 1, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. That if you haven't played any Crisis games before, then you, uh, you, your suit is equipped with the uh, ability to give you super speed and super strength and also uh, invisibility so you know it just it opens up so many options and like the multiplayer mode which I'm not showing right now uh, you know it, it's it's so cool that you can stealth around and just snipe people or stealth kill of course and now finally we've got past all the cutscenes and man that was like a uh, 10 minute movie right there and uh, I, if you see my the video pause at, at points that that's just fraps it, it wasn't actually crisis you know causing those pauses in gameplay like I said I'm getting a solid solid uh, 60 plus FPS I mean everything is just uh, completely amazing And now that you've first woke up, you're playing the character Alcatraz, and when you saw the guy in the cryo suit earlier, he gave you the cryo suit. So you're now waking up from that. Alcatraz, this is all I can do. It's all I can do for any of us. You're my last shot here. Gould's last chance. Last chance for all of us. I'm used up. I'm a dead man walking. I'm contaminated. But you, you can finish this thing. You have to. You have to. Welcome to the future, son. Welcome to the war. Oh yeah, one last wish. It won't let me go that easily. Symbiosis. Gotta break the link. I gave you the suit. Gave you my life. Promise, promise me. Fine, Gould. It's all I can do now. You are all I can do. They used to call me Prophet. Remember me. Locate and protect Nathan Gould. Let's hope he used some Lysol on this damn suit before he put it on me. That was some nasty crap he had. Anyway, nasty procedure indeed. Yeah, yeah you start off, you don't have any ammo. I was like, man, dude, no ammo, not even one bullet. But it, it remedies itself. We find all the bullets we need to go on all the killing spree we Man, the controls on this are just amazing. You know, they did a great job on the controls. And uh, I remember in uh, Crisis 1, it was kind of a complaint of mine. The controls were a little shaky, a little wobbly. Not not as responsive as I'd like. And uh, they seem to have fixed that. So, anyway. We're cruising around. We're using our newfound knowledge from our tutorial. We're supposed to find this gold guy. And as you see on your map, you have, you're marked exactly where to go. So, no problem there. Always be sure and download all the stuff off all the computers. Because, you know, you get all those achievements and all those things that we love. And, man, would you just look at those damn roaches. Like somebody call Billy the Exterminator or something. That's just a little out of hand with the roaches. I guess they're there for atmosphere, but... I haven't seen an infestation that bad in quite a while. Prophet! In this part here, you just use your suit's super jump ability, and you just hold down jump. That's about it. It's simple enough, and that's easy enough Prophet. to remember. Listen to me. 
I don't know if you can hear this, but they're coming for you. You have to find those Marines. Yep, the controls are just completely amazing, you know. Here I'm just kind of like, you know, messing around and picking them up, and I picked them up in just a matter of minutes. I mean, just within minutes, I'm moving around real easy, no problem. And the FPS was completely solid, you know. The fra frames per second, for those who don't know what FPS means. And just look, look at that scenery, oh man. I mean, they just do such an awesome job in Crisis with the attentions to details, you know? I mean, that's uh, something that, like, Ubisoft does, that Crisis does even a little bit better, I think, you know? They just don't miss any of the details, and say you try to, like, you know, chop on a tree, usually the tree will react, and, you know, you can mold the environment. And here, we're using the, like, the binocular feature, you know, just hold down B, or and you press B. It's basically, basically enhanced binoculars. And they call it the visor feature. And what it does is uh, let you pick out enemies and also ammunition and things that you might need. Yeah, that's easy enough. And as you can see, we finally have found us some ammunition. Oh, something that I've been looking everywhere for. I'm, I'm so sending glad you my coordinates. Now. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Now I finally got a gun and I can go get those guys that we saw a little bit earlier. I've been just waiting for this. Get to fill the gun controls and they're just spectacular. They're completely spectacular. I mean, Crisis does uh, realism as best as realism is done in any games, you know. What, what more games, or what other games are more realistic than like your Crisis games? None. I mean, maybe Half-Life 2 or something. But, you know, there's not many that can match their level of detail. I mean, they just do not miss a beat either, you know. Ubisoft is right up there as well. As I just, you know, played Assassin's Creed the other day, their attention to detail is even, you know, it's very high, but it's not even as high as the Crytek engine, uh, you know, displays. It is just so much higher definition even. Just all the small details, they're all here. The stealth meter indicates the level of enemy awareness. Cloak engaged. Cloak provides temporary invisibility to avoid detection and infiltrate enemy positions. Movement while cloaked rapidly drains suit energy. And this is one of the suit's features, of course. And you have a power meter, and the more you kind of abuse that power, the faster it goes down. So the, the faster you move around while stealth, your power drains very rapidly. But you can kind of like sit around stealth for a lot longer periods of time, so if maybe a patrol's walk, walking by. And I'm kind of just bum-rushing these uh, guys around here. You know, I'm not being all that stealthy, and that's one of the, you know, you can play this game two ways. You can be, you know, the Rambo guy and just come in and get guns in place. But sometimes you don't get too far with that. You get pretty overwhelmed. And sometimes stealth is your other option and, and the option that some people choose. To just kind of sneak around to get to their objective. Either way, either one you choose, you know, that it's, that's your prerogative. And... That's one cool aspect of this game, you know, it gives you that stealth option. <laughs> Prophet, listen. I'm outside the evac center. You have to get here. I don't know how long I can hold out. It's in the castle the roof. And as you can see, you're led by the hand with the uh, voice actors, you know. They tell you exactly where to go and what to do. Your suit tells you where to go, basically. And, uh, you know, they ease you into the controls, you know, like I was saying, the built-in tutorial at the beginning, you know, it, uh, you use everything that you learned in the tutorial in the beginning, you know. And that's something that some people, they have, uh, some games, they have a tutorial and you don't end up using half of the features, but in this game, you are using them all right away. 
and that's just completely amazing and awesome. And just, I don't know, I just love this game so far. You know, just the attentions to details. And like I said, I'm just kind of uh, bum rushing these guys. You, you generally should not, you know, open fire on a gigantic group of guys. You know you're going to get killed because they uh, have kind of that realism, you know, you should, one bullet, one kill, pretty much. It doesn't take very many bullets to uh, take people down, you know, which is what I love. I, I hate those games that it takes a thousand bullets just to take one enemy down. And here I'm just engaging the enemy so you can get a feel for, you know, the gu the firefights and the gunplay. And man, just, just look at the ambulance, you know, just look at the, the attention to details, the way the sunlight dances off the paint, you know. It's just totally cool, totally cool. And I have to admit that I'm pretty much blown away by this game. And I think that if you're a fan of first-person shooters, that you'll probably be blown away as well. So, with that, I'm going to wrap this video up here. And uh, I'm going to get back to playing this game because it is that damn awesome. This is The Gamer Down, and I'm your host, Dark Hostess. Subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up videos you like. Thank you very much.